Good day class. In this video, we will continue to solve the inverse kinematic solution of our mechanical manipulators. So for this video, we will uh, solve the inverse kinematic solution of our inverse kinematic of our articulate articulated elbow manipulator. Okay? So to solve the inverse kinematic solution of in, of uh, articulated manipulator uh, we have we may choose of its two configuration the elbow up and the elbow down okay elbow down so we will use the elbow down right this is for the articulated elbow we use the elbow up for this cara manipulator okay again Uh, the answer, the solution of elbow up and elbow down configurations are not equal, but we may uh, use one of them. So for the articulated elbow manipulator, we will use the elbow down configuration. Okay. So most uh, articulated manipulator uh, peaks at this uh, configuration at a negative angle. Okay, so to start, let's start at the top view. Okay, so let's uh, find first the solution to solve for theta 1. So our givens here are the x sub 0, 3 along x sub 0 and y sub uh, y 0, 3 along the y y sub uh, zero axis okay so this is y zero three next is the x zero three so these are given okay so we already have a right angle what we need now is a hypotenuse okay but this side where the given a sub 2 and a sub 3 cannot become our hypotenuse because at top view it looks like a2 and a3 is the hypotenuse but if we at the front view okay a2 and a3 change its uh, orientation while theta 2 change its rotation okay so we could uh, we can uh, make a2 and a3 as our hypotenuse or a2 plus a3 as our hypotenuse so what we will do is we will assign a new side we will assign a new side and we will uh, name it as R sub 1. Okay. So this will become R sub 1. R sub 1. So now R sub 1 will become our hypotenuse. Okay. So our solution to solve theta 1, so theta 1 is our opposite angle, opposite our side y0, 3. So we can use the inverse tangent okay, of y0, 3 over x0, 3. So this will be our, our solution to find theta 1. Okay y03 and x03 is given so this is our first equation or our first solution so next is to find r sub 1 because y03 and x03 is already given r already given so this will become r sub 1 is equals to square root of y03 squared plus x03 squared 
So this is uh, from Pythagor Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So again, y03 and x03 is gi are given. So this our this will be our second solution or our our second equation. Okay, let's go to our front view. Again, this is elbow up configuration. Okay. In elbow up configuration or in front view, our givens here, okay, our givens here are the value of uh, A2, A3, A1, and uh, Z03. We need Z03 here. Okay. This will become A0, Z03. We don't need egg, we don't uh, need x zero three here anymore. What we need here is r sub one. So r sub one is along x sub zero. Okay, this is uh, r sub one. Okay, this is r sub one. Still, we don't have a right triangle. Okay. Next, to solve for uh, theta 2, okay, to solve for theta 2, we, we can uh, create a line here to have a right triangle, but it will uh, divide R sub 1. Okay. And we can uh, solve negative pi over 3 at this uh, side okay so what we will do we will draw a line from our end effector up to the second joint okay up to the second joint so this will uh, create two triangles okay the other one is a right triangle the other one is a triangle with uh, no side, no equal sides. Okay, so we will uh, name this line R sub 3. Okay, this will become R sub 3 because R sub 2 will be this. Okay? This will become R sub 2. Okay, this side will become R sub, R sub 2. And we don't know yet what is R sub 2. What we know is R sub 2 is our opposite side. Okay. So, theta 2 becomes uh, half. But we can uh, solve it by assigning another angle here that will be called phi 1. And another angle here that will be called as P2. So theta 2 will be equals. Okay, sorry. Oh. So theta 2. will be equals to P1 plus P2. So this will be our solution to find what is theta 2. Okay. Next, we can solve for P1. We already have uh, R sub 1, but we don't have R sub 2 yet. We can uh, derive what is R sub 2 using Z03 and A sub 1. So as you can see, Z03 is equals to A sub 1 plus R sub 2. Therefore, R sub 2 is equals to Z03 minus A sub 1. Okay, using this, we can now uh, 
solve for r sub 2. We can uh, number this solution or equation as number 3. Our third or our uh, third equation. Okay. Then using r sub 2, we can now, we can now solve for uh, phi sub 1. Our phi sub 1 will be equals to inverse tangent. Okay. Inverse tangent. Because r sub 2 is our opposite side and r sub 1 is our uh, adjacent side. So r sub 2 over r sub 1. Because r sub 2 and because we know where we get, where will we get r sub 2 and r sub 1. This will become our solution for phi sub 1. And this will be our fourth solution or our fourth equation. Okay. Now we have phi sub 1. What we now need to get is uh, phi sub 2. So phi sub 2 is, in, is inside a triangle with no equal sides. We have uh, two given sides which is A2 and A3. R3, we don't know what is R3. So it means uh, to solve phi 2, we will use the law of cosines. So Phi 2, phi 2's uh, opposite side is A sub 3. So, phi 2 will look, will, will look like this. So, phi 2 inverse cosine. So, open parenthesis. Okay. So, our opposite side is A sub 3. So, this will be squared minus a2 squared and r3 squared sorry it's not a2 oh yes this is it is a2 a2 squared minus r2 squared then over negative 2 a2 times r3 oh sorry it's not r3 it is r2 oh yes this it's it is r3 sorry it is r3 this is not R2, it is R3. Okay, this is R3. Okay. So, this is our solution to get V2. But we don't know yet what is R3. To get R3, uh, we will use the Pythagorean theorem because R3 is the hypotenuse of Adjust adjacent R sub 1 and opposite side R sub 2. So R sub 3 is equals to R sub 2 squared plus R sub 1 squared. Ah, oh, sorry. Square root of R2 squared, R sub 2 squared plus R sub 1 squared. Okay. So this, uh, this equation or this solution. I will solve our r sub 3 and if r sub 3 is solved we can now get uh, phi sub 2 so this is this will be our fifth equation and this is our sixth equation so our seventh equation is the theta 2 is equals to phi sub 1 plus phi sub 2 okay then we already know now what is visa, wait, what is theta two. What we need now to know what will what will be the solution for theta three. What we need here is theta three, not the negative theta three. Okay, even though this is a negative angle, what we need here is theta three. Okay, ah, uh, so. Negative theta 3 is right here at this uh, straight line from the base. So this is a straight, this is a straight line. This is negative theta 3. We need another uh, triangle. Okay. We need another, oh, we need another triangle. We need another angle. Okay. We need another angle. That angle is phi sub 3. Okay, that angle is phi sub 3. Phi sub 3 will be this. 
Okay, this is phi sub 3. Okay, so phi sub 3 and theta 3 will be equals to 180 degrees. Okay, so 180 degrees is equals to phi sub 3 plus negative theta 3. Or phi sub 3 phi sub 3 is minus theta 3. Okay. So to solve theta 3 we need to arrange this so negative theta 3 is equals to 180 degrees minus V3. Then theta 3, we, we just need the theta 3. Theta 3 is equals to V3 minus 180 degrees. Okay. This will be our equation. Or solution to solve for theta 3. Now we don't know yet what is V3. So based on our kinematic diagram, V3 is an angle inside our uh, triangle with no equal sides, but we have three given sides. Okay, three given a value for each side. So, R sub uh, 3 is the opposite side of V3. So, we will use the law of cosines. So, it will be look like this. So, V3 is equals to inverse cosine. So, so open parenthesis. Okay. So, the opposite side is the R3. So, this will be squared. Then, the other given side. So, minus A2 squared minus A3 squared over negative 2 A2 A3. Okay. So, we will uh, put this inside a square. And this will be our A2 solution or equation okay this will be used to solve v3 now we have a solution to solve v3 we will have now the solution or answer to solve theta 3 so this will be our ninth equation or solution okay so these are the equations on how to solve the inverse kinematics of an articulated elbow manipulator. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So thank you.